They even have like a PlayStation area where you can play new games. Very cool. So this place is not open yet. It's called Figure Galaxy. But um, it wasn't here last time either. But uh, there's some really cool figures that they got. They got Stan Lee and then a bunch of Iron Man. Um, and they have a bunch of like Transformers in the back to really oversized figures and they also have like a huge Batmobile so yeah he's closed right now I guess but there's tons of stuff right here and uh, yeah there's just a lot of stuff to look at when you're here all right guys John back in the studio and I would have to say that Gukje Electronics Mart market um, in Nambu bus terminal would probably be hands down the best um, selection for figurines um, for any type of anime manga type of collectibles merchandise um, they don't have too many posters or anything I tried asking around they had a couple but not too many unless you're into like some other types of anime but for Dragon Ball not too many so I picked up a couple of things. Let's unbox them together. I want to see uh, what you guys think of what I picked up. Alright guys, so these are the four things that I got from the, the place. So pretty much I got two of each type. So I got a Trunks and a Vegeta type of this uh, type of character. And then I also got these two. Um, I got a Bardock and then I got a uh, Ultra Instinct Goku here and let's unbox it. Alright so at the, at the market they had uh, these two Dragon Ball toys which I thought would be kind of cool because of the fact that they are able to uh, move and you can put them in different types of positions and I thought that you know Bardock is kind of a cool character and um, Underrated, I think. Not too many people really realize how good he is. But uh, let's unbox the Ultra Instinct Goku first. Alright, so let's pull out. I'm trying to be careful with the box because there might be some resale value in this. So he comes out here. And uh, I'm not sure what this is. This looks like a piece of gum <laughs> anyways um, he comes in a little box like this and the cool thing is he has different hands so you can uh, put different hands on him um, as well all right let's take him out so pretty much um, he's movable as you guys can see here definitely movable um, his torso moves I wouldn't say it's like the best um, his head also moves that's kind of cool um, I feel like the joints are a little bit loose but I mean what do you expect I paid like 20 bucks for this and um, you know I'm sure it'd be a lot cheaper in Japan um, his feet move everything moves and uh, he does get a set of hands as well So it's kind of cool, you can kind of stand them up. Let's see if we can stand them up there. Oh, he fell. So, there you go. You can stand them up, no problem. Alright, so same thing with Bardock. Uh, let's see if we can unbox him. There we go. Same thing. Um, comes out like this, he has two hands as well as a uh... oh his head fell off <laughs> all right so it comes in a ball ball type of uh... figures there we go put him in you can kind of twist his head it's kind of cool and the cool thing is that he has a tail so only you guys can see it but there you go Cool tail, tail piece, and of course he has he swivels his, you know, everything swivels. Um, so 
so you can put some really cool poses of him. So that's Bardock with uh, his two hands. He has. Uh, I will show you his uh, accessories a little bit later. All right. So the next two figures that I got was the Super Saiyan Trunks and a Super Saiyan Vegeta. And um, I thought these were kind of a really cool collectibles as I am trying to get two of these uh, for the SH Figure Arts um, collectible as well. They are coming in the mail right now as we speak with the same uniform. So I thought it'd be really cool to have a miniature version of um, the same characters. All right, so I finally opened them. Um, they're relatively cheap. They were about seven bucks a pop. So they do come in kind of like a model figure. And if you look inside the box, you can see um, they can show you how to make this. I will try to keep this box intact because I think it's a cool collectible to have. Um, but pretty much you have the head, uh, the torso, and uh, these are you can also bend and you have a collection of hands as well as, as a stand as well right here so let me unbox the rest and um, I'll kind of pose them out for you guys and um, let's take a look at what these bad boys look like So bang, there you have it. We got the trunks and the Jita. You can, they come with a little stand here, as you guys can see. I love trunks with the longer hair. And I love the fact that they're both wearing the same type of armor. And you can definitely uh, pose them however you want. Um, they do, they do come with um, two, three pairs of uh, hands one fist one open hand and then one you see here on trunks with the the two fingers like that so let me know what the whether you guys enjoyed the unboxing or not uh but i think these figures are really cool and they're relatively cheap at about seven bucks a piece So there you guys have it. That's my review for the things, the toys that I picked up. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think, what do you guys feel the details are. Um, they are coming from Japan, so I feel like the quality is pretty good compared to other areas. So please like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Let's build a community conversation about toys here in Korea or maybe in your part of the world. So you can follow me on my Instagram at JWJLUI for uh, kind of hype beastie photos, uh, fashion, that kind of stuff. I will try to put more um, toy related type of content on there. Let me know down in the comments below whether you guys will enjoy it or whether you guys think that's a good idea. Also, if you guys want to check out my website at johnlouisent.com, you can keep up to date with what I'm doing uh, with new shows new hip-hop artists, that kind of thing. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.